Okay, this is a video uh, about the solar. This is a much simpler model. It's an annual model for a solar uh, project. Some of the some things are very similar to the other uh, models we have. There's a uh, cost split between the uh, panels and vertical racking and other costs. Uh, there are alternative capacity factors you have. But in this one, really, the uh, one of the keys, and it's a, it's a simple model, but perhaps useful. One of them is if, if you want to uh, solve the, for a uh, target, this in this case we have a target project IR, which is got a simple goal seek uh, to, to solve this. So we put a 5% uh, project IRR, and we get a, a required price of uh, $15 if we put a more optimistic case in and then solve this, then we can uh, get the same IR with 5%. If we put the pessimistic case in, then we need an IR of uh, 39%. So I put the base case back. Oh, and somebody else is on the uh, phone. I'm sorry about that. That's <laughs> and then and then we have now this is the key we have some tax rates we figure out how much is related to renewable and we are allowed a 30 percent investment tax credit and uh, um, just a, just a minute okay uh, let's continue I hope I don't get interrupted too much and if you know if Here's what we can do just to illustrate. If you had no ITC to get the same IRR, this is just how much more you would. Uh, it's 194 versus 117. You can see that it's a very dramatic, uh, there's a very dramatic effect of the, uh, of the ITC. And then the tax depreciation also has a, has a pretty significant effect. Finally, the in this case, we have some tax equity. We decide how much tax equity to put in so we can compare our IRR to the tax equity IRR. And there's a flip, so the dividends all go 99% go to the tax equity, and later on 1% go to the, to the rest. And um, I guess this is the... Uh, just a minute. This is the. I'm deleting a couple lines. This is the flip rate. I don't know why it's called uh, hurdle. So if if uh, if we put a lower flip rate in, if we put you know, let's say six percent, it should be good enough. Five percent. You can see that the equity IRR is increasing. Let's put 5.5%. That should be uh, more than adequate. And then we have some standard debt assumptions and also some uh, discount rate assumptions. So you can see that if you sell in five years, you get a different IRR that's sell in two years. Oops, it's negative. Hmm. That's because our IRR is lower than these discount rates. So let's lower this to 6%. Um, and let's increase our target IRR uh, to 7%. Solve that means we have a higher thing, then we can get a higher IRR over a holding period, okay? Um, the. Uh, Okay, there's our sculpting. Now we start with standard kind of assumptions. Here's our capacity factor, you know. Uh, I think I better do this. We should really uh, uh, paint this sheet red. What we should have done is we should have uh, gone to our macros. Let's see if we have our macro. Let's get, let's, uh, get this one. And then we should have inserted um, our, our, uh, our generic uh, macros. Okay. 
Okay, this was done before the generic markers. And uh, I've got a phone call, so I'm going to interrupt this video. Okay, so um, once we have this, you know, we can put our add ins and color the. What happened? Uh, just a minute. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see what what uh, happened. Okay. Okay. Now the I don't know what happened with the last thing. The the if we look at the gross equity, we have to be careful about the gross equity and the net equity. The ITC would all be, would be re received in almost immediately by the tax investors. So when you talk about the 60 and 40 percent, it's, it's, here's the total, and this is, uh, this is 60 percent of the total, and this is, uh, 40% of the total, okay? And uh, again, the flip rate, that's when we switch the dividend uh, procedure, okay? Ah, here's the uh, capacity factor, then the revenues come from the uh, just completely flat, uh, uh, flat price and the operating expenses are inflated and we have some lease payments and other items and that's how we get our pre-tax IRR of uh, uh, only 1.53 percent but we get the ITC and the tax depreciation so after we uh, include these, this is when we get our project IRR that's just about equal to the target. If you really were worried about this, you could go to options and formulas and increase the iterations. Whoops. Increase that and increase that. I, you know, I, I don't know which, which one does that. Um, now when we go to press the solve button we uh, here was our IRR after tax come on there was the ITC oh, I still get the same IRR shit. okay that usually works it's that's one of the first time it hasn't worked really uh, and then we, we can compute the N NPV now for the sources and uses. You could, uh, we, we took the total at CapEx less the ITC, call that a, uh, we call that a reduction in uses of funds. Here's how much equity and debt you get, and the debt, the equity is split between the tax equity and the other. Then we can make a, a tax schedule, but we also make a tracking account and the Really, the key behind this is you want to focus on the balance of the senior equity before the flip because that's what determines when the flip occurs. And it's it almost this thing where you add the time value of money is essentially like adding a, um, a, a capitalized interest to a uh, to to, um, uh, to a uh, subordinated debt. Okay, and then we put our uh, profit and loss statement with the negative uh, earnings and, most importantly, the negative taxes. That's what you're allowed to get in these uh, solar projects. And then we get our cash flow. So it's really a, a kind of a very simple model, but it, uh, it, it probably does the trick. It might be better than some of these complicated models, and it really focuses a lot on uh, 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 what's the uh, what the tax aspects of one of these things are okay and uh, I'm gonna save this and
that's enough of that video.